Hello everyone and welcome back to Pick and Plays, you are over South 4 with the Cradle of Civilization expansion. We are back in Ottoman Magnificence. And I don't know about you, but whenever I start playing this game, I just keep on going. If you look to the north, Russia has formed out of Muscovy, even though Ryazan still exists. That's kind of odd. I definitely do not appreciate a tech, a military tech 11. I think that's even greater than I have. Because I've been holding back, I've been doing other things with my tech. That's... I think that's the first time I've ever seen the Russians actually get ahead of me. Tech 10, Tech 11. Oh, Hungary's Tech 11. Woo! It looks like France is at war with Britain again, but Britain seems to be doing just fine. Weird. Castile is Tech 11. We are behind the times. Because we just had a wonderful war against the Mamluks, cutting them in half, taking over the Levant. This is all mine now. Thank you. And we are looking to invade uh, one of our... Yeah. So I made Sicily become... <laughs> I made Sicily become Sunni. And they're going to be converting them. I think that'll be nice. I think it's very fitting because if you know your history, you'll note that the island of Sicily was once owned by a Muslim emirate. And so it, they did at one point have some Sunnis on there. Now, we have a couple options. I am going to wait for the war, for my truce with Hungary in December to come up, so that I'll be able to attack Serbia, attack Bosnia, and attack Hungary at the same time, while also integrating mm, Wallachia, because I guess they've outstayed their welcome. And probably giving, let's see, Poland, have, is there any reason to attack you at the moment? Looks like Sephoria has brought something up to my attention. Uh, bring in the armies. A little minor war against Sephoria never hurts anybody. Take a wow for Sephoria. Because you are going away. Move on in. With the... With the Ami... No, the Sultan. Yes, with the Sultan himself. We are not an Amir. Process and bigger. The men of the great spiritual strength... But also firmly part of the establishment, members of the Ulema sometimes choose to join social protest. Let us compensate the people of Bika, move towards legalism, lose prestige, gain loyalty, or Mustafi or not, there is nothing we can do. Hmm. Tax modifier down in Huda Venegar. I feel like they do that a lot in Huda Venegar. Also, what happened with you? Ah, Tugay. So that did happen. Well, if the Tagays are in charge, then you have no business being a march. Janissary reward. Looks like my king has died. Well, they shall get their bonus. Good thing we had that army. Unfortunately, now that we're in a war against some peasants with no leader, we need to hold up, get a new one. Get a new general. Give the, our leader military command? Well, he is craven. Yeah, he's pretty shitty. Ishak Pavilion. Gonna... Can I get someone who isn't a pavilion? No, nope, they're all pavilions. Uh, new pavilion, please. Koka Asmali. Iskander Pasha. I kind of like that name. Oh, God, he's terrible. He's just... He's good at marching. He's... <laughs> okay, you get your leadership for this one army. Congratulations, you suck. Now then, denouncement of sect practices and enforced... Unity, good. What is this looming disaster? It's internal conflicts. Unrest lower than... Okay. Unrest lower than zero. So we'll just do a quick little siege here. Attack their army because I don't want them to take any of my stuff. And wait until December to roll around. So that we also have an army in the north. The Sheikh Ul Islam. Let us elect the foremost and loyal Mustafi for the position, as we usually do. Now you, what are your alliance chain? You have Vazbag and Genoa. Oh yeah, I remember fighting Genoa. That was annoying. So we'll take all this area for Zafori, Zaforizi, Zaforiza. Zafrija, Frija, Frija. Ooh, it's December. Does that truth up? It is. It's twiz. Therefore, Bosnia and Hungary can be both brought in. We might as well have it be Belgrade, because that's their capital. Conf conferred, and let's move, boys. Let's move. I'm gonna catch them out in their capital. They cannot stop these cannons. Also, looks like I... Oh, 
Looks like I had some infantry on the back line. Probably due to the constriction of the battle lines, the bat they were what what's it called? Engagement it's not called that. It's called width. Something width. I could get the wharf for ten. Oh, I know what's caused me to fall behind. It's because I've had different techs. And yeah, that's a decent spread of things. It's decent. Looks like the Hungarian army is starting to come around. Oh, if we let them join up, that could be a problem. Oh, have you ever noticed how similar the... The, the Serbian and Polish flags are? They're almost the same, except for Serbia has the double-headed eagle of... I believe the double-headed eagle is a symbol of the Byzantine Empire. Of the former Romans. And yeah, that's right. I'm letting entire stack siege. That's right. I'm an AI. So you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Uh, what kind of things would we be, we be fighting? I see that there's a Gen Genoese army coming to fight me. Where is my navy? My actual navy. Oh, here they are. They're on intercept fleet, meaning they'll be going after this guy. They have no leader, and I'm okay with that for the most part. Spend some... Oh, nice. I have too many leaders now. Too many. Too many. Send Ishkander Pasha on to... I don't know. Zeppelin. Land technology research. Ignore them. We got plenty of prestige. We got plenty. Ignore them. Who needs that? Right? Am I right? Am I right, ladies? So, it looks like Transylvania will be, for the most part, taken over. Genoa has occupied Oranto, as they do. We are doing a nice action to keep Genoa away from us with their navy. Away from my trade fleets. We have the walls down here. I could assault, but I don't need to. I'm gonna see how these fall. And then probably move on to Hunyada. I don't think they'll be able to take it in time. Well, my vassals siege down all of Bosnia. I rather like that. And this war against the Polish will be ending pretty soon with Wallachia and Transylvania sieging that down. 11% of the annexation of Vla mm, Wallachia. Poland, go away. You're getting full annex. Deal with it. Oh, even the siege of Zeppelin is going pretty well for us. And we still have plenty of manpower. Belgrade is over. Nice. Move on then. The Battle of the Straits of something. Or rather, looks like we did a good defeat on them. Oh, and yes, my new trade fleet. Let's everybody get together in Ederine. Uh, or Ederne, I suppose you'd say. I'm not sure what we would do together. Six ships. The Domanci. Um... Go for any damage, you'll be a trade fleet going out of... Ragusa doesn't really matter because we don't do anything there. Constantinople already has an area. Maybe you'll be the legal side of the trade out of Alexandria. The Battle of Hunyad was a resounding victory on our side. Now we're going to go and fight in... Oh, it looks like the Crimeans got caught out, but we should be able to fight off some Serbs. War never changes. Ungrateful morons. In exchange for some peace and quiet, our vassals have obliged to pay more income to us. They're overlords. They're not called into any wars, which is, we believe, a great trade-off. For some goal... Okay, get out of here. For some goal, they excluded from almost all wars. One of our vassals wondered if it weren't better if they called into wars instead of paying these. They're meaning ridiculous sums. Ah. The income from vassals go down. It all goes down. Oh, let's go there. A firm hand. Oh, hey! <laughs> the proper application of pressure and levels. So now we get extra income from vassals, and vassal force limit is increased. Let's go there to take out this army first, because I think they're looking for a fight. But we got that good army. They're not going to stop me. Poland is for... Decline this. Let us... And no, I need to give you up to... Not Transylvania, it's a 40 easy. Because I would like a strong northern buffer. Something that Crimea is not. Oh, hello, train. You snuck up on me there. Yep. There you go. 
Conquest of Loa is done. Beautiful looking, beautiful Ukraine. Do not. Oh, we can call Tunis into the war. Why? Parallel authority. Side with the merchant guilds or side with the ulema. Who has more or less? The merchant guilds have 50% and the ulema have 58% side with the merchant guilds. They would gain influence. I kind of want the ulema to gain influence over the merchant guilds. And then just grant them monopoly charters to get them back online. As for you, you need to get siege? Not really. But you're still better than the other guy. Ooh, hey, look at that. It's an army we can actually fight. I'm happy about that. Also, I'd like to change this around. Serbia is occupying Oranto. Siege of Zeppelin, son. Good. Kill their cannons. Good, the battle is over. <laughs> Where did those Genoese go? I do not know. Also, I'm going to be walking around with 30 stacks. I might need larger navies. Battle of Sturm, Shrem. The Wharf, thank you. I would also like to save up some diplomatic points to get this. Also, provinces. Ooh. Cost. Hmm, 50 months. It's not too bad. It's not horrible. Definitely not horrible. Maybe this was going to take a while. Let's start looking at some things. I would like this, I would like this. I would like return cores. All Transylvania cores. And maybe a little bit out of Bosnia. Maybe just a l Or maybe piece out Bosnia separately. Ottomans have occupied. Yes, we have. Go there now. Hmm. Excuse me for one second. Okay. Now I am almost certain that I left the video paused, but in case not, we have a lot of pop ups. Rebels doing things, hungry, taking things, hungry, a revolt in Mon. Oh, yeah, look at that. Got the revolt down there. Yo, boys. Get on in there. Especially in Akarak. Sicily is doing stuff. A revolt in Kudos. Yes, and the birth of colonialism. There's a good chance that I might have left the game running. Okay. Discovering the new world has heralded a new era, not only for the colonized and the colonized. Changes everything. So. Oh no, it must have been that I left the game pa I left the game running and it paused during one of those pop-ups. So Yeah, it always seems to happen whenever I get a call. I leave the game running and then we end up in a weird situation like this. Let's us look around. It would be in ideas. Colonization is in Ooh, France. Francais. Now what are some things that I could do to get colonization? It is, let me see, nearby friendly province with colonization up to 420%, port neighboring with colonization, port capital country with a new world colony, nation. Ooh, okay. So apparently France has some new world colonies. Nice. Well, I would like to get close to you, but unfortunately I can't. It's like a force field. What to do, what to do. So moving in, army group south. You as well can move in. For some reason, you guys stopped drilling? I could have sworn I had you drilling. Either way, the war's going still pretty well in our favor. These forts are about to fall, which I've been waiting for. Something about a blockade, but I think we just stopped it. Yeah, there we go. One of our subjects is still a little pissy bitch. Ah, the siege is done. And the Battle of El Karak was won. Good, they came to me. Now, El Karak should make this go back to my side. Uh... Kudus, which is Al Quds, which is also Jerusalem, Palestine, and Gaza. I don't want those two coming together. I would like my army to come down first. Go to Jaffa. Block them in. And as for up here, if this army is now free, bring them against the forces attacking Padilla. While this army waits in Hom. 
Uh, something about us, say something about Magdebird, and Mamlukian Separatists. Oh, Mamlukians. That's not good at all. Anhalt's wish to go out. Anhalt's for... Oh, what? Anhalt? What are you... Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'll... I'll look into that, Anhalt. That was Anhalt specifically. So you give me your money, and I can make you a vassal. No. Give me that. Transfer trade power is not exactly all that necessary. Uh, and old treaties with Bosnia, please. Send that. That's one person out of the war. I've lost quite a lot. Siege of Home is done. Nice. Free at last. Free at last. And the army's down here already for the army. Under groups east and south have come together. East and south. Move on in. The border are they're so far away from home. Peace offer from Hungary. Decline. For now. Battle of Kuds. Mish Misha Hungary. Uh, return cores. Yes, nice. Give money. Do we have anything like... Uh, no, no claims from my boys. My, my boys. Although I would definitely... Hey. Okay, move the army in so we can maybe get this. I would like to get my provinces. I would like to expand. Insult from Circassia? Oh, you think you're hot shit. So we have a weaker army going in here, but it's offensive fight. Production, uh, they must be right. Or lose prestige. Prestige is fine. We get a lot of prestige. How is my leader doing? He still has morale of armies down. But it's not so bad, ain't it? Take back Ron. You split off a regiment, send him in. Also, we used to have so much drill, but because of the sieges, all of it melted away. I could get Hungary out with Transylvanian land. Looks like France is still on the fight. Oh, the provincial conquest of Alsace against Austria. Interesting, interesting. Alsace, yes. Okay, let's check this out. Mishta Hungary. Return your cores, give me money, and give me money. This would cause a potential Mamluk, Lithuanian, Austrian, Teutonic Order, Bohemian, Bosnian, and Hungarian coalition. Nothing I'm too scared of. And it give me plenty of cores for Transylvania. Uh, release a nation I could make... Oh, no, I can't make them release Galicia Volinia just quite yet. Could I make? Th I can't make them release Poland either. Sad days, sad days all around. But I could make them go for that. We do have pests. We got we got things to do. You come over here. You get in there. We could full annex these guys. That's no worry. It's mostly bo mostly Bosnia land that I'm worried about taking. As for you, maybe split in half. You might be a bit big. Wait, that was something. The influence of something. You probably move straight on. You go there. You just start sieging down everything. If I can make them release... And I guess just these two provinces. Lelinia something or other. I might have Zephoria come along and take it up. Also, rebel uprisings are coming. Oh no, they're, standing, they're just standing on the provinces. You move off and get that. You take there. What is this? Cause of spell eye. Oh, they had the diplomatic insult. A revolt in Tadmor. Not all that interested. Sicily's still a little bitch. Bosnia wants out. Decline. Okay, something about Lithuania. The battle of something with or other. You move on. <clears throat> this army group will take care of things. Yeah, Fraticelli. Ooh, one of our leaders. One, the leader that's down here. He left us. I will lead these troops myself. Yes. Decline whatever you're giving me. Ooh, optimism. I'm okay with that. Monthly war exhaustion down. Hey, hey, hey. I like the sound of that. Now then. As for Hungary. He's willing to bow out for money. 
for war apps and for releasing Glicia Volinia. Spell is giving back all that. Nice. Break him apart. Vulcanize him. And what's really good about this is that because these are cores, nothing happens. Has to happen. And now Glicia Volinia is on the map. Army group north. Just go back to your own territory with with Iskander Pasha. You guys come down here. The world's not ready for you yet. The world's not ready for an army your size. Hmm. Battle of Tadmor. Nice. These guys can come back together and add Kutz or... What's a really big province in the area? Kudos. Put these guys back together. He can just siege. We should be perfectly fine. Now then. Mistia Bosnia. 54 war score. And you're not interested because of reasons. Mr. Serbia. No, 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 no. Do not unconditionally surrender to such a small man that we have full annexed. What is this? Province cannot be demanded since it is not controlled by you or your allies. Okay, I see. You're gonna do me like that. Fine. We move in here, we move in here. And then we start the war against Genoa. As he's basically the last person in the war. As well as Versberg, but Versberg wants out. Okay, Versberg. You want out? Leave, please. I beg of thee. Leaving only Genoa. And everyone else has kind of gone home. I don't blame him. You go back to Diebacher. When it comes to provincial unrest, it's Otrano, Raka, and Karabag. So Raka's right there, if you just want to sit on this. Looks like Army Group East could have some problems. Now that I'm actually watching the game again, things won't go so badly. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!